And now we've come to our final step in the spinning globe tutorial series. And we've got one last thing to do, and that's to animate our world map. So to do that, I'm actually going to zoom out so you can see this a little bit better. Now the first step when animating anything is to select the object you want to animate. So I'm going to click on our world map and then go up to the animations tab and I'm going to click on add animation. Now you can see all the animations you can add there, are entrance effects, emphasis, but we don't really want it to enter or exit. We want it to simply move. So I'm going to choose a simple line motion path and it'll give you a little preview of what it's going to do when looking at it. And as you can see, it's not really doing quite what we want. It's moving downward, but we can adjust that later. Now to apply this motion, simply click right on top of it and it will apply that effect. Now to adjust the effect options from the animations tab in the animation group off to the right of whatever animation you have selected, you'll see a variety of options specific for the animation that you have applied. And for the lines, you can see that there are a variety of directions to choose from and we want to choose the right direction. Now, as you can see, it doesn't quite look exactly how we would want it. There's a slow start and a slow end or a smooth start and a smooth end to every animation that you apply by default. But we don't want to do it that way. We want our object or our map to animate slow and steady. So we're going to have to tweak our effect options a little bit more than what we have here. So underneath the effect options drop down menu, you'll see this little tiny button to show additional effect options. Clicking that will bring up your effect options dialog box. And on the effect tab, you'll see the options for your smooth start or smooth end. We want to take these down to zero and click OK. We do need to lengthen how far this object moves. And to do that, you see this little line right here? The green stands for where that object starts moving, and this is where it stops moving. We're just going to extend that by grabbing hold of that circle or that little handlebar at the end of that red arrow, holding down our shift key to make sure our line doesn't change to a diagonal movement as we're dragging it out and then release our mouse. And now if I open up my animation pane, I can play this animation right here. Looks like it moves a bit fast, <laughs> don't you think? So what we can do is adjust the duration of this animation. By the default, it's set to two seconds, which is far too short. So I'm gonna bump this up to 12 seconds. And now when I play it, you can see it's a very slow, smooth rotation. And that is how you can add a simple animation path to an object in PowerPoint.